For the Marvel Spider-Man 2 version 1.003.00 or is the latest uh, patch for Marvel Spider-Man 2, right? It introduces eight new suits and I'm gonna be covering each one of these in the video and all of their suit styles. And the suits that they did add are four brand new collaboration suits, which I've talked about quite a bit in the last few months because I thought they weren't gonna add these at all, but it turns out they did. And we've got the Metro suit, which is from Miles, the Ginga suit from Miles as well, Fleuro suit for Peter Parker and the Moto Chic suit for Peter Parker as well. So those are the collaboration suits. Then we've got the four fan favorite uh, suits that have also made their way back, which are the Into the Spider-Verse suit for Peter, uh, Last Stand as well for Peter, and then we've got Uptown Pride for Miles, and then the animated suit as well. They've also made quite a few different changes to the parry and traversal, but I'm gonna save that for another video because I wanna focus on the suits for this one. Um, and, you know, obviously the actual like Spider-Verse suit and the animated suits, they do not have suit styles, but the rest of them do. So let's check them out. And I'm not going to lie to you, this is one of my favorite ones, especially because I'm an F1 fan. And you can clearly see uh, the inspiration from Formula 1 uh, racing helmets, like the racing driver helmets. And I absolutely really like that. It looks fantastic here. And then this emblem as well does look really nice, as well as the materials for the suit are like really, really good here as well. Um, then we go down here and look at all of this as well. And it genuinely looks super, super nice. I'm a huge fan of these new suits for Marvel Spider-Man 2. I think they absolutely, like, genuinely cooked for some of these. Now, I know some of them are hit and miss. But trust me, the suit styles are going to change everything, like, in terms of perception, I hope. And I want to hear you guys' thoughts on which suit style is your favorite. So you can even see, like, where the helmet, like, kind of goes on here as well. Which I think is such a cool detail here i mean look at that that is actually pretty crazy but the suits do look way better here um in game versus the concept but now let's look at style one for the fluoro suit and this one as you can tell it is the classic red and blue and of course the white here for the advanced suit as well for the logo which just looks, I gotta say, it looks fantastic, dude. At least in my personal opinion. You guys can tell me as well what you think down there. But look at this, dude. It looks genuinely super, super nice. I mean, like, look at the emblem. It looks fantastic, all in white. And the red and blue, of course, just makes the suit really pop and feel very, very classic. I mean, you've even got the boots there. Like, they've segmented this, I think, to the best of their ability in terms of coloring it. And let's go to the back here as well. Yeah, I think they kind of cooked with this one. I'm not going to lie. And then <laughs> he's even got like a white spider emblem on the, black, on the back of his helmet, which I do find pretty funny. But like it does look really good. And I don't even mind these like darker red pieces here as well. I think genuinely this is probably like it probably is my favorite suit style for this very uh, suit so far. And then we've got the very next one, which is just black and white. So it's kind of like you could almost call it like a symbiote variation but not really like you could use the uh, black tendrils with this very very easily but it does work really well with the webbing here with the white emblem and on the helmet as well it works super super nice um it makes the suit look extra sleek as well and i think this one works really well here like as a suit style especially like this bit here in the back i mean it just looks really really nice like what more can i say about this suit style um, it just looks fantastic and then we're gonna look at the third and final one which is I think this is a 2099 suit style right like 2099 spider-man inspired suit style and my favorite thing about this one actually is the fact that this bit here like the visor kind of changes color as well and oh man that is such a sick detail I kind of wish you did it for the others as well but that just looks so sick dude like what the hell man <laughs> that is crazy and then you know you've got like the emblem here looking nice it's not colored in but that i don't think that matters too much for this particular variant although it would it would work really nice if that was colored in um but it does stand on its own i think this one works and even the back emblem isn't colored in so that's okay i guess but you know it definitely does work and um i really do kind of dig it for what it is right it definitely does look pretty damn good. 
Now we've got the Moto Chic suit for PW Park. Uh, well, not PW Park. Why not call it that? I'm just so hyped for that suit being back. We've got the uh, Moto Chic suit here, which is the Rina uh, Sawayama suit. And again, I gotta say, this, this like, um, just a mask isn't it for me personally. Like, I just do not really like it. I just don't like the webbing on it. Like, the lenses are okay, but the sort of web pattern is just not that good. But that aside, I do like the design of the leather jacket. I think, like, a biker Spider-Man is a pretty cool idea. I also like, like I said, the emblem there. Um, I also like that belt emblem. I think that is very cool. It's kind of like the classic emblem, but kind of more, like, fluid. Um, and the belt does look, like, the rest of the belt looks pretty nice, too. The pants look pretty nice as well and then you know you've got the boots which kind of at least has that whole style all together right and then we're gonna go have a look at the back of the suit here as well and you've got like a nice little emblem here so you, that's pretty nice actually I like the way that does look on the suit and all these like edge lines as well it does look quite nice um, so I've got really no complaints about the rest of it and I guess the other thing that's pretty cool is the way everything connects back here i just wish it was more so like we just had more webbing like it was more consistent instead of these like weird like circles over where the lenses are like if it continued that like pattern maybe in the front here it might look better but yeah i don't know now it's time to look at the suit styles for these original suits as well and we're gonna see what we think of these so the first one of course already redeems it quite a bit this is the classic you know red and blue spider-man suit style which does already make it look a hundred times better obviously the mask still not my favorite thing but like this it just looks way better right like everyone can agree with that you know you've got the pants there as well they're blue um it is a bit weird actually kind of like the way it's all like separated but at the same time like i it is a lot better at least like especially out here in the back as well that's pretty good as well i like the way it's separated in the back I just wish it was kind of like that, like maybe the red started from where like this bit is, I guess. I don't know, but I, I think like this as a suit style does work really, really well. And uh, I'm glad that we got that as an option, right? Then the second suit style, of course, again, you know, black and white, right? Like you've got to incorporate this. It's like a symbiote suit style at this point, but this does look pretty nice. Like I won't lie to you, it does look pretty nice. Um, Especially if you look at the suit from the back here, like this does look pretty sick. Um, especially the logo and everything like that. Like, you know, it's pretty, pretty standard stuff when it comes to the suits here. Like it looks pretty, pretty good, right? You look at the back here and then you, like, I don't know, like the lenses are still something left to be desired, I guess. But the actual like pattern would need to be better in my opinion for it to like look better but when it comes to the overall suit the black and white like if you look at it like this down it looks really good but that like it's just the uh mask that really doesn't do it for me and then of course we gotta have a sort of like orangey yellow kind of variant i don't know like if it was just this color just this pure color sure but i don't know how i feel about the way the jacket is like if you had the jacket also be black and then these lines be this color i feel like it would look way better but of, of course they had to kind of like segment it a bit in terms well separated a bit in terms of colors but yeah i don't i don't mind it but i gotta say i just like don't really vibe with this one at all really like i don't know it's probably my least favorite out of the suits here and then of course don't think i forgot about the uh last stand suit here this is one of my favorite suits from marvel spider-man uh, remastered and it just feels so good to see it be brought back in this like crazy high definition and it, it looks good man it looks good so everything just looks fantastic the, the pants and everything it's like you remember it but it looks even better here uh we, we're gonna go in the back here as well have a look at that and it just looks fantastic but the best part about this suit being added to marvel spider-man 2 are the actual suit styles and the first one again is the classic suit style and as you can see the emblem changes to white here um and the black bits change to blue to kind of have that classic feel so it 
when I say classic, I guess it's more so accurate to say advanced suit style because the spider emblems go white, right? Like I assume the one in the back will also be white. Yeah, I knew it. Like it, it's going for that advanced suit aesthetic versus the classic suit. So technically you could say it's either or, but I think the blue and red version looks so damn good here. Like it looks absolutely insane for Peter here. Like it genuinely looks fantastic. And I can't believe just how good this actually turned out like for this suit style. It looks really, really good. Then we've got the second suit style, which is like, you know, black and white, right? So kind of like a symbiote one if you want to use it with the tendrils, right? And the way I like to look at it is in the game, we kind of saw uh, Peter like morph the symbiote into a suit. So you could theoretically just say, oh yeah, he just morphed it into his last stand uh, symbiote suit here because he wanted a different look and you could easily just head kind of let me know if you like that idea and if you do hey subscribe right <laughs> but yeah i i absolutely dig this i mean not too much i could say about it and look you've even got the patches here man you've even got the patches here like they're clearly intending they're like actually intending for this to be the symbiote suit man and i am here for it i'm absolutely here for it Maybe I wish the lenses were white as well, but hey, that's just a minor nitpick here. And of course, <laughs> Arachno, man. But I'm not going to lie to you, okay? Hear me out. I know a lot of people that I've seen so far aren't a fan of it. But I've got to say, the lenses, the color of the inside goes super hard here. It looks good, man. I cannot say anything bad about this one. I am not the biggest fan of the Arachno Man suit, okay? But this kind of like, I don't know, man, this kind of looks pretty good to me, right? You go back here as well, and it really looks nice as well with this emblem here. Like, I think this actually works, right? Like, it, it works pretty damn well, right? Like, I think you guys might like it. Let me know. I mean, I definitely do. And then finally, we have the Into the Spider-Verse suit. The suit, I think that was the number one most requested to have back in Marvel Spider-Man 2, 100%. And it looks super, super nice. You are as beautiful as the day that I lost you. My suit. <laughs> it looks great, man. It really does. Like, lenses are peak. The webbing, I, I don't know, like, the webbing actually kind of feels low res. So I wonder if this is just straight up ported uh, from remastered, maybe. I don't know. Um, but you know what? I don't really care. I think it looks good and um, you're not really going to notice the difference too much unless you're in 4k maybe I don't know, but it does look good man. Like I'm just happy to be able to have this uh, Suit, you know team up with the spider-verse miles and then just have them in cutscenes together for a playthrough I think that's something that was missing from this game. You look at it in the back here as well it just looks absolutely fantastic and uh yeah, what more can I say about this? Like, it just looks super, super nice. And now we're going to move on to the Miles Morales suits. So now here we are with the very first uh, Miles Morales suit. This is the Metro suit. And this is the Kid Super suit that, like, Kid Super just designed for himself. And it's not, it's not like, too bad. Like, I thought this would, like, on paper, it looked really bad in my opinion. But here it doesn't look too bad, right? Like, I like the lenses the most on this suit and that big zipper going down. I think that looks great in the way, like, the spider emblem is on the hoodie, like, the way it unzips and it separates. I think that looks really, really cool. Um, obviously, there's too many colors going on and way too much, but I think, like, the jacket and the lenses and all that does look pretty good. And the back emblem looks fantastic. But I think this suit, like, this very version here isn't my favorite. But I do have to say where this suit shines is literally in its suit styles and this very first one is probably the best in terms of showcasing it. I mean it gets rid of all those extra colors and just makes use of Miles' iconic like uh, red and black colors, right? Like the lenses instantly pop more over the black like mask with the black zipper. Then you've got like a red and black hoodie here and like the emblem just instantly pops even more and just looks even better and the back here like you can't tell me this doesn't look good dude like this looks insanely nice like it looks super super nice and the same thing with the like actual like uh hands here as well like that bit and then down here as well with the shoes 
Like, it does look pretty nice. I'm having Adidas or Adidas flashbacks, but, you know, it looks good, man. Like, what can I say? This is probably the best version of the suit, easily. Then we've got the second suit style, which again is the classic um, red and blue and white combo here, or rather like, I guess you could say black because of the black spider emblem. But this one also looks pretty damn nice, right? Like you've got the lenses that look great on the red mask. You've got like a bit of blue and like red here on the jacket, a bit of blue with everything else being red and it still looks really nice. And then the pants are actually almost all blue and this suit actually did what that other, what I wanted that other suit to do, where uh, the actual like red bits start up here, which is really really nice. And I mean, like just check it out. It looks super super nice, man. Like, what can I say? It looks great. Then the third style actually isn't too too bad. I thought this would look worse from what I heard, but it's kind of interesting, right? We got some purple and blue here. Like, they do mix really well, these colors. I like the actual lens. But this one might be a bit too much for me. Uh, because now we've got all those extra, like, patterns and things happening again. And, I mean, I don't know, man. Like, you know, it's not really here on these other styles. But then you just kind of got this, like, pea spot. <laughs> of purple, like, splotch. But it's okay, right? Like, you know, I don't, I don't hate it. It's not the worst thing ever. But I'll probably not really use this one at all. Now we've got the um, Ginga suit, I guess, and this one's by Vinny Jr. Uh, who's a football player, really, really successful. And first thing I'm gonna go is straight to this emblem. I've gotta say it's pretty nice, man. Like, and the fact that you know you've got the Brazil colors here for this suit, I think, is a really cool thing to get extra representation. And all the Brazilian fans, like, let me know if you're in the comments, man, because you're eating good with this. I mean, look at it. It looks fantastic. To have a suit that has your, like, flags colors on it has got to just hit different, you know? Then, let's go look at the back as well. Um, I know there's a lot going on with this suit, but I think because it's based on a flag, it works, right? But, like, otherwise, I probably wouldn't like it, but because of the flag aspect of what it represents, I actually really, really do like it. So, it looks really, really good. I gotta say, I do not hate this one. Like, I really like the lenses, and I like how yellow they are. And big lenses look cool and then you've even got like that yellow bit under the lenses which kind of look like i don't know like kind of remind me of spider mandibles i guess but now we've got the classic black and red combo as always man it instantly improves any suit man like look at this like if if let's say this was like a five i'm not saying it is if this was a five this is an instant 10 right here. It just looks crazy good. The lenses immediately just look so much better. You know, the logo looks fantastic. Everything just kind of like balances itself out and just instantly works way, way better. Like you've even got the emblem here looking extra nice. I mean, it's just great, right? Like genuinely just looks fantastic. Now we've got the next one, which is going to be the classic red and blue. And even this isn't bad at all. Like I thought it would look not as good but it's not bad they did the best that they could with balancing the colors and i think it looks good right like i think it looks pretty good uh maybe i would have changed this to still be like blue like these bits here but then it awkwardly connects down here so i don't know i think they did the best that they could um but it it, it does work right and then on the back here as well it looks pretty good um as well so yeah, I wouldn't say this is still the best version of the classic suit, but hey, at least that colorway is there. And then we've got like white and gold, which I gotta say, does look pretty damn nice, right? Like white and gold does always look really, really nice. And it really does pop here as well with all these accents and everything like that. Like, definitely looks good. I don't know what's going on with all these splotches, if that's meant to be like extra paint or something. But it, it really does work uh, wonders for this suit, especially where the lenses are. It looks crazy nice, right? Like, especially down here as well. I think the balance on this version is actually pretty, pretty good because the colors work well. And even here, it's not too bad. But I think it's the fact that there's, like, golden, um, like golden webbing as well that really helps it out. So that's pretty good. Like, I like this one a lot as well. Like... You know, I'm not going to hate on these. Like, obviously, I know everyone in the community is like, oh, collaboration suits suck. 
but I'm giving them a chance and so far like it's pretty good. Now we've got a classic that returned which is the Uptown Pride suit that you get in Spider-Man Miles Morales when you do some community things and the community rewards you with this suit. Originally I thought this one could have been a suit style for the classic but I kind of don't mind that they brought it back because it had a lot of different patterns and even had like these like stripes over here as well like the golden bits and I absolutely love this suit like genuinely it looks incredible in terms of detail and the way to reflects light like it's such a nice suit right like it feels like Spider-Man just prestige in the Call of Duty or something in terms of like how epic it looks you know what I mean like he just looks like he just leveled up to the max level and then we've also got suit styles for this one and this one's not too bad like we kind of go from gold here to kind of silver right like silver looks pretty good still um like the same amount of reflection so if you don't like gold you've got silver and that's not too bad right like it kind of works obviously it mutes the suit quite a bit um but at the same time it still reflects and looks super super crisp and super nice like the detail on this one you can tell is just out of this world like it just looks like it belongs in this game then you got the second suit style here and this one i'm kind of mixed on um, of course, you know, it's the red and black, right? But then like it's it, it just feels like there's too much red It really does like it feels like there's a bit too much um, Red going on, but I don't know what else they really could have done They couldn't have just like made this like black or anything because like the way this connects so You know they had to figure something out, but like, you know, it just feels like it's a bit too much red, but at the same time I guess it is what it is when it comes to it, right? Like what can you do like from here the suit looks really good but then you go down and i feel like it's just too much but let me know your thoughts um in the comments below on this one and then here like this one's not bad um like what is it like kind of blue and like pinkish purplish i don't know like it it, it kind of works but again it's got that same issue of it just being too much right I don't know. I'm not really feeling this one either, but let me know if you actually like that one in the comments as well. Um, at least, like, the red one keeps that stripe there, so that's okay. And then the final suit for Miles is the animated suit, which I personally really, really like, and I'm glad that they brought it back. Because you could also pair this one with Peter B. Parker or really any other suit um, as well if you really wanted to. But again, this one's a really fun one, and I'm glad that they brought it back. You know, they've got the back here as well. It just looks really, really good, really, really nice. And I've got no complaints here. So let me know which of these suits is your favorite. And if you want to see really, really cool suits, like a million combinations amount of suits, check out this video here where I cover Tango's mod in Marvel Spider-Man Remastered. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Peace.